but it was like 16 hours a day in this, in this enclosed space, probably about the size of this chess table. And you would have this big animation camera that was surplus from the military that somehow our college had gotten a hold of. Nice. Um, you put your drawing in, put the glass platen down, take a frame, pull it out, put the next drawing in, put the glass down, take a frame. And that was just, that was my day. And so I had made this film. Um, How long was it? That was, it was probably about uh, seven minutes. Wow. Yeah. And it came to the attention of Hanna-Barbera and uh, they, they offered me a, a job. And again, this is where the luck comes in. At the time they were steering away from you know, the old guard scripted programming. And they said, we got to freshen things up. Mm. We need some new voices. They had a show called What a Cartoon that was basically oh, a- Oh, classic. Yeah. Do you know What a Cartoon? Of course yeah, I do. That was how I got started. Amazing. That was like, that was my break was that, um, you know, gave new green animators a chance to do their own stuff. That's actually, sorry to interrupt you. That's, that's one of my uh, most fond, fond memories uh, from my childhood, if I'm being completely honest, the what a cartoon was incredible because it was always like different animation, different stories, yeah. different things. These almost like vignettes. That Do you were remember that terrible incredible. theme? Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah. For sure. and, yeah. And I remember Gendy Tartakovsky who, um, created uh, Dexter's lab, super talented animator. Classic. Yeah. Really talented guy. Very nice guy. Um, I remember being sitting in a, in a meeting where there was some question about those of us who got there late, mm. you know, said, Hey, how, you guys kind of voted on the theme. What was the reasoning behind that? And I remember Gendy saying at the time, and then just the room just breaking up with laughter because it's just like, all right, that's, that's all funny. we need. That's all we need to know. At the time. Um, I love that. But yeah, I, I did a short called Larry and Steve. Mm. Um, and then that, I remember this. I'm excited remember for you to Steve, continue. Yeah. Let me shut up, please. That got me a job working on uh, other shows there, such as Cow and Chicken. Mm. Um, I did outlines for Dexter's Lab at one point um, and did most of my writing on a show, Get Ready, called Johnny Bravo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and um, Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we, we uh, yeah, we, 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 we had a ball doing that show. That show was a blast. So, sorry, when you... That's how I met Adam West. When they picked you up, if you will, uh, they hired you. Was it more as a writer or an animator or both or what? At the time it was both. And then they quickly realized that I was a better writer than an artist. Mm. They I said, think you're a great artist. They said, yeah, you, we, we maybe are not going to have you do storyboards for us because we have a lot of people who are much better than you are, but this show needs writers. Go and do that. So, um, and thank God they did. Like it was, it steered me towards, you know, I mean, look, they're, they're artist on family guy who, who took my designs of Peter and Brian and Stewie and made them make sense and look wow. better and all that. So, and may I also say Larry and Steve <clears throat> was the godfather of what? A family guy. A of course. Family yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 That was uh, I remember watching that as a kid, you know, seeing Larry and Steve and you voiced, uh, the dog just like Brian, right? In your, yeah, in, your same, in your voice. Same thing. Yeah. 